Hello and welcome to History Classes. This is Class 10 Geography Textbook and we are doing Chapter Number 4 which is Geography of Assam. We are discussing on the topic from this chapter which is Transportation System in Assam. This topic is rail, rail Transportation System, Road Transportation System and Water Transportation System already uploaded. Hai. You can check it out from the playlist. So, आज का topic हम शुरू करते हैं. Today's topic is air transport. So, air transport is an integral component of the modern transport system. At present, the air transport sector of Assam has made some developments. Assam now stays connected with different places of India through air transport. The air transport of the state, yani ki Assam, is in operation through the civil airports and these airports are located at Guwahati, Tejpur, Jorhat, Tibrukar, North Lakhimpur and Silchar as well as Rupshi near Dubri also. Although here it is written in your book that uh, the airport located at Rupshi is lying closed but it was recently opened okay so this statement is incorrect now all right aage badhte hain all the major airlines under private sectors are operating regular flights to and from guwahati so uh, you must understand that how air transport works jo airport hota hai wo government ke andar regulated hota hai लेकिन जो एयर फ्लाइट्स होती हैं वो प्राइवेट कंपनीज चलाती हैं तो गुवाहाटी से बहुत सारी फ्लाइट्स आती हैं और जाती हैं ठीक है और गुवाहाटी में जो एयरपोर्ट है वो एक इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट है बिसाइड्स दिस सम प्राइवेट कंपनीज एंड एजेंसीज आर आल्सो ऑपरेटिंग हेलीकॉप्टर सर्विस सो नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट की टेरेन की वजह से जिसमें हिली एरियाज ज्यादा है मैदानी इलाके कम है planes come hai to iski wajah se helicopter bahut hi convenient option hai air transportation system ka jo ki interior places ko connect karta hai assam se north east okay the airport located at borjar guwahati is known as the lokapriya gopinath bordoloi international airport so aap find out kariyega aur mujhe bataiye comment section mein ki gopinath bordoloi kaun the this is the only international airport in whole of north east so guwahati ka airport ya phir borjhar airport is the only international airport in the north east india mein alag alag international airports hai lekin north east ka pehla guwahati mein hi hai the number of aircraft passengers and loads of cargo handled in this airport are mentioned so cargo is the uh, uh, goods also not only passengers or people travel but goods also uh, are flew are flown through the uh, planes okay so this is the table you can check it out the data mentioned in the table 48 4.8 show that there is no noticeable difference in number of daily flights handled by the lgb ya fir lokapriya gopinath bordoloi international airport during 2000 9, 10, and 2012 and 13. But the number of passengers on daily average has increased by more than 1000 passengers during that period and during 2011 12 year, there was the record of highest 6150 number of passengers on daily average basis. The cargo transported on commercial basis increased in subsequent years from 2009-10 and the highest amount of cargo was 23.34 tons on daily average basis transported during 2010-11. So this is the figure that has been given ki kaise, uh, over the years cargo increase hua hai. But you have to remember that the amount of transportation that in Assam specifically I'm talking about through road water and rail is much higher than what takes place through the air uh, air transportation system in Assam. okay so discuss karte hai some of the problems of transportation systems in Assam. kya kya problems tekniko mil raha hai 
Although Assam has some facilities of the modern transport system, it, is, it still remains backward in the transport sector as compared to some other regions of the country. As compared to the other portions of India, other states of India, Assam ka transportation system backward hai. The road, railway, water and air transport system of the state have enhanced the internal growth of its economy by connecting the places of different locations. We have discussed about this in the previous classes also. Ki kaise ek network form kya hai, integer places the uh, jo transportation system hai penetrate kya hai jis ki wajay se ek economy enhance hui hai, growth hui hai economy ki of Assam. Besides connecting the villages with the towns and interior and backward regions with developed regions, the transport system have also played role to increase production, expand market facilities and meet the basic needs of economic development. We had already discussed about this. So transportation system various roles play karta hai. Village ko towns ke saath connect karta hai taki village ka jo produce hai wo town mein aa sake. Or town ki jo saman hai wo village mein ja sake. People bhi move kar sakte hai easily. Or interior or backward region mein bhi saman ko kar ja sakte hai. Vahan pe bhi kuch uh, easily connection develop kiya ja sakta hai. Okay, just keep it just a bhi development aa jata hai dhere dhere. So, transportation system ne uh, production bhi increase kiya hai. Kyunki raw materials or technology jali jali paunch paate hai. Jagah par apne. By the use of transportation system. Or phir market facilities. Jab production increase hoga aur uska fayda jab milega, jab market milega. जहाँ पे goods sell कर सकते हैं, services sell कर सकते हैं, और transportation के through uh, goods आने जाने में, ले जाने में, पहुँचाने में बहुत ही easy हो जाता है, okay? तो अगर एक example दूँ, suppose transportation system की वजह से Amazon पे हम कुछ भी order करते हैं, या फिर Nike पे Flipkart से कुछ भी order करते हैं, तो वो पूरा दूर दराज के गांव तक भी पहुँच जाता है easily. Why? Because of the internet by which we can order. To the, from the remote places and as well as the delivery man who brings the goods ko, wo kiske through by using this transportation system facility only and meet the basic needs for economic development. Although the transportation system of the state has contributed much, its development and expansion are still not up to the mark. Today, many regions of Assam are deprived of service of modern transport system. But modern transportation system is not developed, nahi hua hai, jase ki metros, nahi hai. okay? Uh, and other stuff like that. Because the entire transport system of state is not properly and uniformly developed, the major problems of this are so, why is it not developing and what is the problem? We will see that. It is really difficult to expand the transport system in Assam because of topographic features. Because Assam is a land of hills and valleys. Hills, hai, plateaus, hai, Karbiangrong ka plateau, hai, plains, hai, flood plains, hai, wetlands. This is why we don't have a coherent coherently have a transportation network. So, there are hiccups. Hai, जैसे expand करने में transportation system, so ये एक region है topographic feature, geographical feature. तो so, um, next point देखते हैं, Assam is linked with the mainland of India through a narrow corridor, Siliguri corridor हमने पढ़ा है. तो so, इसके through Assam linked है, क्योंकि so, uh, जो southern portion है या फिर Assam का western portion है वो ज़्यादातर भाग जो है वो Bangladesh के पास चला गया. तो so, जिसकी वजह से बस छोटा सा link बचा हुआ है. India se wo hai Siliguri corridor ke through. In some areas, the soil properties of Assam are not suitable for construction and maintenance of roads. Kahi kahi Assam ki jo soil hi hai, wo utni thos nahi hai, jiski wajah se ek transportation system kar sake. For Assam mein rainfall bhi bahut high hota hai, we know that in the monsoon. So that causes damage to the roads easily. 
Also, the roads get damaged within a short period as no suitable and modern technologies are applied in their construction. So, if we solve this problem, we will have to solve a modern and suitable technology which will soil with the match the soil. उस उस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व कर पाए वैसी टेक्नोलॉजी चाहिए वैसी नहीं जो हर इंडिया के दूसरे शहर में अप्लाई होती है क्योंकि असम का प्रॉब्लम स्पेसिफिक टाइप का है तो वैसा ही स्पेसिफिक सलूशन चाहिए इन द केस ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट असम इज स्टिल बैकवर्ड एज कम्पेयर टू सम अदर स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया वन ऑफ द मेजर कॉजेज ऑफ दिस इज द अंडर डेवलप ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम ऑफ द स्टेट But the industrial development, on the other hand, may encourage the development of the transport system. So, in this, two things are said that industrial industries are not enough in Assam, so that's why the transportation system has not been developed. And if the industries are developed, then what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, they are both interconnected with one another. If the transportation system is developed, then the industry will be developed. If the industry is developed, then the transportation system will be developed. In spite of immense scope and potentiality for development of tourism industry in Assam, no proper measures are taken so far for its development. If due importance is given on the development of tourism industry of the state, it is sure that the transport sector will also flourish together. Due to lack of large market in the state, the transport system has not developed. Assam has largely failed to be actively associated with the field of trade and commerce at interstate as well as international level and consequently the infrastructure of transport system has not been developed. So, a few years ago, it was open to Assam through trade and commerce. Okay, businesses are set up, industries are also set up. तो अगर हम देखें फाइव इयर्स अगो टेन इयर्स अगो यही हाल था आसाम में कि ज़्यादा ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स नहीं हो रहा था आसाम से उतना प्रोडक्शन नहीं था तो जिसकी वजह से जो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम है वो भी लैग बिहाइंड किया उसने द नेशनल एंड फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द स्टेट शोज अ डिक्लाइनिंग ट्रेंड ड्यू टू सम सोशल एंड पॉलिटिकल अनरेस्ट अराइजिंग आउट ऑफ एथनिक कम्यूनल एंड इंसर्जेंसी प्रॉब्लम एमर्जिंग फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम तो ये सब जो प्रॉब्लम है उससे भी रिलेटेड सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम अगर बोलूं या फिर मेजर प्रॉब्लम बोलूं वो था सोशल एंड पॉलिटिकल अनरेस्ट असम में बहुत होता था तो जिसकी वजह से पीपल यूज टू फियर इन इन्वेस्टिंग हियर इन द बिजनेस बिकॉज बंस बहुत होते थे असम में ओके okay. और इंसर्जेंसी uh, टेररिज्म uh, था अल्फा भी बहुत एक्टिव था उस टाइम पे है ना और एथनिक कम्युनल क्लैशेस होते थे असम में तो बहुत ही ये यहाँ पे सिचुएशन हमेशा वॉलेटाइल रहता था तो बिजनेस वहीं पे फ्लोरिश करती है जहाँ पे बिजनेस ओनर्स को इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट को ऐसा लगे कि यहाँ पे इन्वेस्ट करने से सेफ रहेगा सब कुछ ओके बिकॉज बहुत नुकसान होता है लाखों का नुकसान होता है इन सब चीजों की वजह से बिकॉज आग जनी हो रही है पीपल आर फाइटिंग बंद हो रहे हैं काम नहीं हो जा, होता है रुक जाता है पीपल आर वायलेंट इन नेचर तो तो तब ऐसे होने से तो कहीं पे भी इंडस्ट्री लगाना या बिजनेस लगाना इन्वेस्ट करना कोई भी नहीं चाहेगा तो ये असम का हाल था पहले तो जिसकी वजह से असम धीरे धीरे लैक कर गया और कुछ तो यहाँ के लोग भी थोड़ा ओपन माइंडेड नहीं थे Towards business and all. अभी हालांकि change हो रहा है. As most people are also engaging in business and all. Okay. So yeah, this is the thing. As a result, the expansion of trade and commerce has become limited, and the transport sector has suffered a lot. Although the transport system has developed quantitatively, the its qualitative expansion is not up to the mark. Lack of operative and technical efficiency is usually noticed in the case of road. रेलवे वाटर एंड एयर ट्रांसपोर्ट सो क्वालिटी भी अच्छा नहीं है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम का ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन में टेक्निकल एफिशिएंसी जो एक स्मूद होना चाहिए वो नहीं है तो इट इट विल ओनली बिकम पॉसिबल इफ न्यू न्यूअर टेक्नोलॉजी लगाई जाए या फिर असम रिलेटेड स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व किया जाए तभी एक क्वालिटी और क्वान्टिटी दोनों डेवलप होगा ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम में In order to achieve overall development of the transport system, there is the utmost need for proper transport coordination among the road, 
railway, water and air transport but lack of such coordination is commonly observed in the state. So, uh, this transportation system is not different, okay? They are all interconnected with one another. So, that is why proper coordination is necessary. Agar transportation system ko bhoti achha banana hai. To, Assam ki state mein ye observe kya gaya hai ki in mein coordination utna nahi hai achha. To, ye coordination ko develop karna pega. Rapid development of transport sector has not become possible in the state because the schemes undertaken by governments for development and expansion of transport system are not executed in time and in proper way. So, timely agar transportation system timely develop, ho jai, timely construct ho jai, roads, jo bhi projects, hai, wo timely completion, ho jai, it, uh, jo, uh, I mean, Time pe complete kyu nahi ho pata hai. Kabhi kabhi it may be due to corruption. Kabhi kabhi Assam mein uh, barish ke mausam mein bhi construct karna bhoat difficult hota hai. So that's why we see that it takes um, more than one year to complete a project in Assam. Halaki dusre states mein ya ki dusre region mein jaysi ki Delhi vagera mein hum dekhenge bhoat kam time pe wo log project finish kar sakte hai. So is liye टाइम कम लेके और जल्दी रैपिड डेवलप कैसे करना है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम को ये भी फाइंड आउट करना होगा एग्जाम में ओके सो दैट वाज ऑल फॉर टुडे थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे